Okay, guys, just going to do a brief analysis on the Kitty Minster game, um, which is the one where we actually set up with our new formation to try and not concede, but also gives us more options in possession. There's our back three in possession from a goal kick. Brilliant. Great start. We've opened out particularly well. There's Max coming in to receive it. I believe that's Marcus, the wing back there, and we've got Ollie this side. Okay. What we need to do in football is, and we don't do this enough, you know, we tend to give it to our centre halves because we play it from the back and then they drive forward and look for the next ball. What you need to do is overload one side, isolating the other side so as we can switch play and give ourselves a 1v1 option. And it actually works here terrifically well. So Max is shaping up and he's going to play a, a play a ball out here to our other wing back, OK? We've now... From doing that, the way his body's shaped up, we've got one player, Painter, there coming across. Luke's looking there. We've got B there. But what's terrific is that we've got our wing back out there, completely isolated. And the only person worrying about him is that player. And you'll see in a minute how we draw and clear that. Okay, so we'll run it on a bit. Ollie, if he had a great first touch, could have probably gone down the sidelines. But again, he hasn't. He's pulled it back, and that's absolutely no problem at all. Because what we've done here now is we've got them all over on our side of the pitch. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and you'll see the other one that Mark isolates in a minute. That player that I last circled is the one that was marking Marcus. What we've done is we've overloaded them to this side of the pitch, and if we drew a line across the pitch, which was halfway line, about there, that lad's feet is just in it at the top of the picture. And that is terrific. We've drawn them all over, so we now need to switch play as quick as possible. Minimum, maximum two touch. Can we do it on one touch, OK? So Mark switches it across, draws the player that was marking Marcus, and Charles plays good feet straight away. Now, all of a sudden, we've isolated the other side, and we've got Marcus there completely free, where he can drive into space if he wants to. We've also got B that... Well, hello. We've also got B up top there, OK, between the two centre halves, straight. And just beyond there, you've got Luke against his man as well. OK, Marcus plays a good first time ball. Luke's first touch is terrific, beats his man and he pulls the ball back, which is massive, guys. We talk about crosses and the, statistically the most crosses that score goals are pullbacks. OK, now a better touch from B here from his first one and he probably scores with his right foot. But hey, we're not going to worry about that. What I want to look at is this first touch by B. That's terrific hold at play. We've talked about, and I've kind of hammered you quite a bit of late, mate, telling you how much more I need you to do this. But you look at your body shape here. As that ball is hammered into you, look at your body shape. Brilliant. You're nice and arced. And if I look at that then, B, your body shape is at an angle like that to receive. That's how you cushion the ball. That's terrific. Because what you do is you draw the man in. Okay? And isolate him, and then you're going to beat him. Unfortunately, a bit of a bobble, and the ball runs away. Go on to that to the second half, and I'm going to pick up on one now where you lose control of it. Similar sort of ball. Charles is bringing it out. Again, maybe we should have switched play here to isolate him, to overload the one side and isolate to go out the other side. But anyway, Charles picks a good ball out, and he pops it into you, and it bounces straight off you. Okay, the little bit of difference in this detail. Okay, there. I love that. Mike's always telling you, can you pin him? Can you pin him? You've got your left arm around him. You've pinned him brilliantly. If you stay there now... That ball will cushion into your feet. What I would prefer, though, is could we get players in and around you? OK, he's got no players for him to set back to. This is where, you know, we either need Painter in closer or Max in closer. Max potentially because Painter's covering this side of the pitch. Luke is making the third man run off beyond him. OK, so just bear that in mind for future reference. But if we roll it on a little bit, just as we get to there where the player is actually going to block the view, but we look at your body shape now... And if you look at that now, you're in a more upright position, OK? And that's why the ball cannons off you, instead of keeping that arc that you had before, OK? So I just roll it on a little bit and let it go. comes in and it bounces off you a little bit because you're too upright, OK? We actually score from this, but um, Painter switches play out now and we score from it. I'm going to stop this one here. We talked about it at halftime. This is the second half. And, and you guys take the credit for this because Charlie in particular said that they're not picking up at the back post. They leave that space free at the back post. You noticed it in the first half. You've recognised it. Max's delivery was perfect on the day and has, actually has got better, which is great. So he delivers the ball in. Great little flick on by Luke. And there's a great first time shot by Charlie. You deserve that, guys, because you recognise that. OK, this is a goal for them. Ball out, great high position starting by Ewan. Poor clearance, OK? But can kind of live with it. It's over the halfway line, so we should kind of live with that, OK? Now, what I'm saying is that I like that. 
Oli has now shown him um, shown him the line in, in the final third where you should always show him. Robbie, you've got your man there. That is the lad that scores in a minute, so just keep an eye on that. You are checking where he is, but he, he, him and his other striking partner are going to make good movement. He's going to draw to the back, and the other striker's going to run in behind there. Okay? But we need to recognise that. And you did watch him. Okay? So as this rolls on and rolls on, again, Ollie, I like that. You're letting him have it. That's great body shape. What you need to do is keep showing him that line. Now, keep showing him to the touch line. Let it go on his left foot. Don't let him come back on his right. Okay? Because that's the crucial part. And there, you've changed. Do you see? Your body shape just changed a little bit. From there to there, you've let him come back on his right. Okay? Just going to go back a little bit further because I'm looking now back into the centre with Robbie and his man. Okay, so there they are, not two million miles apart. Their lad's backing off, backing off, backing off, backing off, backing off. Now, you now either, Robbie, you need to get a voice and get him, our player there. I can't circle him. The one, it's not letting me do it, I don't think, but yeah, there. You need to, Robbie, that's you. That's their player. You need to get our player back in alongside you or you need to watch your runner because he's going to make a run on the back of you because Ollie's body shape changes, forces him inside and just as he's about to deliver it into a great area, their lad's gone on the back of you. Okay? So if we just run it back a touch, this and this is crucial. There. Just as he's about to kick it, you're not actually, you can't see him because you're checking your shoulder and seeing that lad. This is a great delivery of a player, by the way. He's put it in the second six-yard box between you and Anne yourself. It's an area maybe you and could have come, maybe not. Uh, and it's between the two of you. So it's a terrific area of a ball. But he's gone on the back of you there, Rob. Okay, your body shape has now changed. You've closed off. If you stay, remember, the space will never score, but the man will. Now, if you block his run or just watch him, you could stop that. But you've closed your body off. You see, you're open, lovely open shape. You can see him. All of a sudden, as the ball comes in, you follow the ball. You've lost your man. He's gone round the back of you, and it's a little tap in. Okay, so a little bit disappointing, but listen, this is what we're doing this for, to, to, to so as we recognise these for again. Okay. Now, this is the sending off. Max, again, you don't react. It's a little kick out by their player, which I'll just run back. It is a pathetic little kick out, to be fair. If you're going to get sent off, you've got to whack somebody, haven't you, really? Okay. There it is. A little flick out and he gets a red card for it. OK, this is terrific. This is our penalty. Marcus, you do something very well here. This is a Jack Grealish moment for me. You, you're you not going to win this ball as it comes down, but you initiate contact by dropping your leg in front of the player. And and, and this is very clever. Um, so as it comes across there, you're it's a little bit far away from you. You're not going to win it. But there, your leg gets across him, initiates the contact, giving the referee who he loves to point, makes no doubt that that's a penalty, which is, which is terrific, and that, that's brilliant. Um, we haven't actually got the penalty max from that day because the wet wetness, so we take the one from the other night uh, against Airport, and that was the goal. OK, this is the uh, Luke Burrows goal again. Patience, again, nicely spread out, roll it out. Again, just remember what I was saying, maybe we could build it up a little bit slower so as we can overload one side, so switch play. When you switch plays side to side, you move these strikers. Now, they haven't moved at all. They just walk back. Whereas if you move side to side, you draw them out. You draw them to one side. It's not a bad ball. Like I said, this is the one earlier. Comes into B, but it bounces off him. OK, but we pick it up. OK, Payne picks it up, opens his body and plays it out to Ollie Gane. OK, what I like here as well. OK, Ollie, great body shape to receive. I love this from Harley in a minute. He's going to make a run out to here, which is going to draw him to come with him, letting Ollie be able to go inside. OK, so as it comes now, there you go, Harley, taking the centre half out with you. Brilliant. Into Luke. Luke plays it out wide to Marcus. Um, slips, so he loses his first touch, but a regain within six seconds. One, two, three, three seconds. We get it. Smack. Get in. Exactly. OK, so we'll just run it back because I think that's a great little strike. But what's important, guys, is when we're in the area there, and what I like is we've potentially now got one player behind there, one player there, one player there, one player there, and one player there. We lose possession of that ball. We have to get a regain within the six seconds, and we do. Max goes in, gets a toe in, Luke takes it off him, and rightly so, the great left foot strike. OK? That's, that's again, that's terrific, guys. Now, fourth goal, OK? Um, 
And it's a slip, but can we do better? I always believe that we can. Okay, so I'm just going to stop it in a sec as it comes over. Okay, I'm happy with that at the moment because if you look at this now, then we've got, I think it's Robbie on that player there. Charles is just behind him. And I think that's Marcus covering their player there. Okay, just let it run on a sec. There you go. So now Charles is in tough side. So the only thing I would say there is, um, Charles, your body shape, can you still stay covering him a little bit more? Okay, Marcus, he's now got a yard on you. Okay, I'm being overcritical, but I love being overcritical. You know me, guys. There. So, Charles, you've had to change your body shape. Whereas if you'd just been back, whoa. So there. So you're at level with Robbie there. Okay. Now, if you can drop, 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 keep dropping, but you don't. So if you'd have kept dropping, now your body shape's got to turn and you've lost it. Marcus, he's now got two yards, three yards on you. Now, if something happens to Charlie, Marcus, are you going to get the man? No, not at all. Something does happen to Charlie. He's sniped by someone in the crowd. And now you're not going to get it on that lad. In fairness, it's a great little finish, but he does have three touches. He drags it and then he hits it. OK, just let it roll on a little bit. Listen, I might be overcritical, but this is how we improve. So drop off, drop off. Maybe stops that. OK, and it's a pet eight, uh, especially as a Chelsea fan. OK, we had it with Marco, Alon Marco Alonso. He never gets back in games. And if you look at that there, Marcus, if you just kept running with him, just keep running with him. He doesn't score that. Charlie's body shape we can be critical of, but that's about it. Generally, guys, overall, absolutely terrific. The analysis, I just love giving this for you because I think it's great feedback to, to help you keep developing our whole game. And I'm sharing this throughout the whole age, age groups so as they see it as well because you're, the, you're obviously our senior team, our first team, and this is where they learn from. Okay, cheers, guys. Have a good day.